In the previous video, we talked about preparing your model for importing into Substance Painter. Now I want to talk to you about the process of exporting it out of Painter. So in this process, what we're going to be doing is we're going to pretend like we already imported it in, we've painted it all up, now we're ready to export it to a, uh, another application for rendering and staging or animating or whatever it is that we're going to be doing in it. For simplicity's sake, I went ahead and uh, took it back to the individual texture set just because I didn't want to have to apply separate materials to different sections, uh, just so I can showcase this to you all a little more quickly, just so you're aware of that. So basically there are three ways that you can export out of Substance Painter. The easiest and the one if you want to stay inside of the Adobe Suite is just to go to File, Send To, and Send to Substance 3D Stager. Again, we've shown this in the big overview and previously, this will basically package up all the materials, the model, everything that's associated with this individual asset, package it all up and send it directly into Substance Stager here. And once I add it in here, I can go ahead and you know activate the um, ray tracer, start swirling lights around, and do all that to get this rolling. But let's say we are actually, you know, we need to animate this thing or put it in an animated file. So we're gonna send it over into Maya instead. Or like, let's say you're working on a game and you're sending it to Unreal. Easy peasy. So for that, you wanna be able to export the textures on this file, because that's ultimately what we're gonna be working with. We're not adjusting the model at all, we're just working with the textures. So for that, you wanna go up to File and say Export Textures. In this tab, we've got three windows. So the first one is our settings. We're gonna be able to say where we're gonna export it to, the template that we're going to be using for this, the file type that we're gonna be exporting to, um, the size of the each texture maps or the, the size of the, the, the of each texture size. So like you, know, you can do 4K, whatever. Um, and then the padding on the, the file itself. In the next tab, we're going to be able to talk about, you know, these are some templates based on common renderers. So if you've got to be exporting texture maps for Arnold or Unreal or Unity or V-Ray or any of those, they're all going to be inside of your Redshift, RenderRan, all that good stuff. In the final tab, this is going to be our list of exports. So these are going to be the ones that we've, um, this is what's going to be exported or the list of, of what's going on here. So in the output templates, you can see that again, this is, to, this is as if you're exporting individual texture maps. And you can see in each one of these that they're customized for the renderer. Like inside of Unity, if you know we've got this mask map that Unity looks for, we're in the red channel. If I hover over this, you can see it's exporting the metallic into the red channel the uh, mixed AO into the, the green channel, nothing into the blue channel, and glossiness in the alpha. It's just, just the way that Unity is set up. So you know, like, like you can see that, that basically Substance now has a way so we can change these export templates to any one of these to like a key shot, and it's going to export them in, in, in a way that makes sense for, um, for that application. Now, the one thing that I particularly like is that we can now go through this and instead in our file type, we can say file um, export textures, keep the export template the same as the document channels. And instead of exporting it as a JPEG, which like I find a little bit tedious because you have to plug each one of those individually into your software. Um, I actually like to export all the way down here at the bottom, you'll find this SBSAR file type. Um, this is a, this is Substance's own material file type that can be read in through plugins or even natively into most 3D applications. So again, Unreal has a Substance plugin, Unity, Maya, Blender, Cinema 4D, V-Ray, V-Red, Clove, Browsework, pretty much like, I think it's, I think it's somewhere around 30, don't hold me to that, but there's a lot of 3D applications that can read this SBSAR file type. And the reason why it's great is because you, again, you don't have to import each individual map. You can do it uh, as, as, a, as a much, much easier workflow, which I'll show you in Maya here in just a second. So when I go to export the SPSAR, great. If I had different uh, texture sets, they'd all be here. And I can basically say, all right, great. I'm going to go ahead and export this again. Just I'll just goes back to my desktop. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to save it as, it's going to save it as the file name, which is this weird porcelain. Great, I'm gonna save the setting, or I'm just gonna export. Click export, you'll see it, it pops over here to the list of exports. It's telling me telling me what it's doing. Um, it takes an extra second because it like, again, does each individual map, and then it does the final step, which is it packages it all up into the SBSAR. Once that's complete, I'll jump into Maya and show you how to process that. All right, so it's uh, completed exporting. I can now jump over here into Maya on my character. 
I will go ahead and select everything. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into our hypershade view. So again, this is where it starts to break down into your individual, uh, each individual 3D application does this a little bit differently, but um, but just showing you how easy it is. And it, it, this is a pretty good indication of what it's like in, in a lot of the applications. So basically what I can do is, so basically in the hypershade here, all I have to do is tab over and type, start typing in the word substance. And you'll see that there's a substance node texture that I wanna bring in. This is great. So now all I will have to do is select this node, click this file folder, go to my desktop and load in the ball man high default material that I created. Uh, inside of here, you can then go down, you know, obviously you can change the um, texture resolution. Um, if there were slider controls, I would be able to have the access to those in here. But you can see here now that I'm inside of Maya, I can actually create a shader based on, you know, either Maya standard surface, an Arnold shader, RenderMan, V-Ray, Redshift, or Maxwell shader in here, just by clicking the one I want and then saying create network. What this does is it's going to take that node and it's going to go ahead and create an entire shading network um, inside of, of Maya that's going to be set up perfectly for Arnie. All right, and there we go. And you can see here now it's just called an AI standard surface shader. Um, I can go ahead and select my entire object. I'll go ahead and assign this to that. And now you can see if I just create a sky dome light here in Arnold, and do a quick test render that the same material that was baked and created uh, out of Substance Painter is now with a few mouse clicks available onto an Arnold render. All right, and then there we go. And that's just all it takes to export your material out of Substance 3D Painter into a third-party application like Maya.